Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City video. So as you can see all the snow has finally disappeared and I'm so happy that it's finally spring. The grass looks so green and lovely. It just looks so nice. And as you can see the animal tracks have started forming outside my house which I don't mind. I think it looks quite cute. Um, but looks like we've got quite a few letters. So we have one from the Happy Room Academy. Hey Lulu, your room got 1612 points. Look kid, you got a closet or a dresser or something? Try using it, your place is a mess. <laughs> so I guess we should clean up our house at some point because I've got a lot of rubbish in there. Um, but I need to remove a few of these letters before I can get these. Okay, so why don't we get rid of this letter from Vesta and then we can collect this other letter which is from Tom. Oh, I wonder why they've sent me presents. I don't remember sending them a letter. But let's see what they have to say. So the first one's from Blue Bear. And they said, hello Lulu, so like, is there something you want from me? To thank you for making me so happy, I got a present for you. Yay! Think of me and stuff, love Blue Bear. She's so cute. Okay, so what did she get us? A fan palm. Well, that's just a plant, and I think we already have one of those, so I guess we can sell that. But that's quite nice. And here's Tom's letter. It says, hey Lulu, thanks a bunch for the letter and swell present. Your gift really reminds me of you. Here's one that should do the same back. Make good use of it, okay? From Tom. Okay, so whatever Tom sent us should remind us of him. A folding chair. Okay. <laughs> okay, Tom, whenever I look at this folding chair, I'll think of you. <laughs> I'm probably going to sell that. <laughs> okay, so I don't think we have anything to do today. I think it's just another chill day in Faelun. Um, so I guess we'll just wander around, do some daily stuff, like plant flowers. Oh, there's a present here. Um, so why don't we shoot this down? Of course the last tool that I get is the slingshot. I had to go through all of them first. Oh, we missed! Okay, let's try again. There we go. The town is looking so much more alive now that it's spring. What do we get in this balloon present though? A bear pole? I don't think that's going to suit our house very much, so I'm probably going to sell that too. <laughs> I really need some money to pay off my mortgage because I'm so far behind. I feel like I should have paid it off already, but because I hardly ever play, I just never make any money in this game. Lady L, how long have you been asleep? Because with bedhead as ferocious as yours, you must have been asleep for at least two weeks. If you're going to sleep that much, at least invite me. <laughs> Since you weren't around to hang out with, I was feeling kind of lonesome. Yawn. Oh, I'm sorry, Nate. We gotta make up for lost time, yawn. I feel bad for leaving the animals so often. But they seem like they're doing okay without me. There's lots of weeds around we need to pluck. And every single time I play, I start the episode of Bedhead. And I just, I make loads of money in the episode and then I waste it getting my hair done. So I don't think I'm gonna do that today. Because I just waste so many bells getting my hair done to then have Bedhead again. Why don't we water some flowers though? I just love watering flowers in this game. I think watering flowers in Animal Crossing is one of my favourite things to do. Um, it just makes me feel so happy and I, I'm not sure why, I just always feel happy if I'm watering flowers. So why don't we dig this up? Oh, looks like we got a fossil! So we'll have to go give that to Blathers later. Okay, so why don't we head off to Town Hall? But first let's water this little flower. Today is February 29th, the day that comes but once every four years. Do you feel like you gained a day? So yeah, I'm actually playing on Leap Day. Oh no, we missed festival! Oh no, I feel so bad about that. I didn't know which day festival is. Um, let me know if you want me to time travel back to that day and celebrate festival. Um, I think I'm just going to continue playing today, even though there's no event or anything. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you want me to time travel back and we can celebrate festival together. Um, if not, we can just keep playing in the days as, as they go. Because I want to upload um, a bit more of these videos now before New Horizons comes out. Because I'm not sure I'll get a chance to play this game as much once um, March 20th comes. So, so here's Tom Nook, our favourite boy. Today is our point special. Yes, on this one day you receive five times the normal amount of points for purchases. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Let's see what you have for sale. Uh, we've got a lab sink, a plant, 
a lava lamp. Oh my gosh, you guys, do you remember lava lamps? When I was little, everyone had a lava lamp. Um, we've got a blue clock and the elephant slide, which we've seen in New Horizons now, and it looks so good. But I don't want any of those pieces of furniture, so I think I'm just going to sell the ones we got given today, because I don't need any of these either. And I don't think I can fit any more furniture in my house, to be honest. Come over here, why don't we see all the wallpapers? There's never any wallpaper or carpet I like. I don't even remember how much carpet and wallpaper there is in this game. Um, I'm really excited for the wallpaper and carpet in New Horizons though because I saw this, this strawberry print patchwork one and it was so cute and in the New Horizons Direct we got recently the character was designing their house and they made the house look so beautiful and I just can't wait to make my house look that nice like there was um, the doorways were white and the flooring was just so beautiful and I'm so excited to decorate my house like that. Okay, so now we're done in Nook's Cranny, let's plant some flowers out here. So let me know you guys if you still play this game, because I know a lot of people that watch my videos. Um, I've actually heard a lot of people say that they play this game and they like to watch me play it because they still play it. Which is really really sweet to me because I honestly didn't think anyone was still playing this game. I think most people are playing um, Pocket Camp or New Leaf still. Um, and I actually was playing New Leaf the other day. Hey, Bluebird's in her home, so why don't we go see what she's up to. Oh my gosh, is this KK Ska? I love this song. Yes it is. This is the song that Ruby has in her house. So I love this song so much. It's so fun. Whoa, Lulu? Oh my gosh, like, what happened? You're like one of those magicians. Okay, we've heard this every single time I play, she says this to me. I think this is just what all the peppy villagers say. Wait a sec, are you like all tall now, Lulu? Or did you just go out and buy some of those crazy shoes with stilts in the heels or whatever? <laughs> what? The conversations in this game aren't that good to be honest, but I'm enjoying this song right now. <laughs> so the other day I was actually playing New Leaf for the first time in a while and I was cleaning up my town a little bit. Um, I was actually inspired by Chewy because Chewy's been playing, um, Chewy's been streaming New Leaf every day on his channel recently and I've enjoyed watching his streams. Um, and I just made, he was cleaning up his town and everything and it really made me want to clean up mine. I don't have a capture card or anything for my DS, but um, it would be nice to record a video of my town before I leave New Leaf, and I don't think I'm going to play New Leaf much after New Horizons comes up. Um, one second, why don't we see what Tom's up to? Ah, I messed up big time, Crazy L. I'm so stupid sometimes. Somehow my key got away from me when I was out running around. Oh no. What if some thief uses it to rob my place? What about my huge horde of Caesar salad? <laughs> <laughs> what? This is seriously bad. Help me search, Meowza. Okay, well, we've got to fish up Bob. Uh, Bob? What? We've got to fish up Tom's uh, key. But like I was saying, I don't have a capture card or anything for my DS, but I was thinking of maybe recording a video of my town. Um, it's not very good. It's really messy because obviously when I first started playing New Leaf, I was only 13 years old. So the way I've decorated it definitely isn't how I would decorate it now. Um, but I have tried to work on it in the past couple of years. Um, it was really, really bad before, but it does look a little bit better. Um, so do let me know if you'd like to see a New Leaf video. Obviously, it would probably be recorded on my phone, just of my DS screen. Um, because, like I said, I don't have a capture card for my DS and it's really impossible for me to get that. Um, but usually when I do Q&As on Instagram and stuff, which, by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should because I want more followers on there. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, usually when I do a QA on Instagram, I get so many questions saying, Will you play New Leaf on your channel? And I've I've said it so many times, but I don't have a capture card, so my friend Mavu made a video recently where she did a tour of her New Leaf town and I thought it was so cute and I I remember my old friend, um, his name is Mayor Harvey, he doesn't make videos anymore. But he used to make Animal Crossing videos just recording his screen as well. And I remember back in the day I used to watch Lin and Co as well. And they would also just record their screen in the beginning before they got a capture card. So I don't think it's so bad to just record your screen with a camera. So do let me know if you're okay with that and if you'd like to see that. Um, but why don't we go give this stuff to Blathers because this stuff is filling up my pockets. It's so annoying, you have to click the fossils one by one in this game. I'm so used to a New Leaf where you can just click multiple fossils at once. So we have a Triceratops. so... Um, we haven't got that in the museum yet, so let's just give that to him. Here's another one. And oh, this is the Stego tail. And um, we don't have this one yet either, so you can have it, Blathers, I don't need it. And I have one more for you here. 
Oh, it's a styrosote also. Um, we don't have that either, so you can have it, brothers. I don't need it. What? Who? It seems the Styrassosaurus is complete. Wondrous, just wondrous. I hope I said that right. Styrassosaurus? Styrassosaurus? But we've just finished that, so that's awesome. I'm so happy about that. This will be the first dinosaur we finished. The Styrassosaurus appeared in the late days of the dinosaurs. Its characteristic horns and collar look like frills. Very dino fashionable, what what? And actually, they had to be because the rear frill was used by males to attract females. I guess male-female relations haven't changed much in all these years, eh what? <laughs> Look at his face, he's so cute. Who, I beg your pardon, I was so enthralled, I... I spouted hot air like a boiling teapot, eh what? Who then, might you need anything else? Now I think I'm done for today, brothers, but it was nice hearing you explain something to us. I assure you the staff here is doing their best. After all, it's just me. <laughs> Aww. Well, now that we've finished the dinosaur, why don't we go check out the dinosaur exhibit? Oh my gosh, look, it's just some dinosaur's legs that look so weird. Oh, here it is! Oh, it looks so cool! The Styrassosaur. It's 18 feet and from the late Cre Cretaceous period? I wish it would tell you more information, like um, what Blathers told you, and I wish Blathers could do like a little tour around the museum and every time you clicked on something he could tell you loads of information about it. I'm so happy we finally finished the dinosaur. Um, I'm pretty sure in my childhood town I had majority of the dinosaurs, I think I might have completed the dinosaur exhibit. Yeah, I really actually like the um, dinosaur exhibit in City Folk, I think it's really nice. And I like that it has this like upstairs and downstairs. And it has like three different rooms, well two rooms I think, but yeah, I've always really liked that about this exhibit. Okay, so I think we're done here now. Okay, so what should we get up to now? We have loads of flowers still. Um, I really need to make some money because like I said, I really want to pay off my mortgage. I don't think we're going to be able to do that this video because we still owe so much money. I want to plant these flowers here because every time I play, like I said, every time I play I end up with bedhead and all the flowers I planted in the previous episode gone because I just don't play as often as I should. So I'm really sorry about that, it's probably annoying like that I don't progress that much in the game. But I really am trying my best and it is hard for me to play often because I'm busy working on other videos or I'm just doing other stuff so I hope you guys understand. Let's just water these flowers. And I'm really hoping we can get some more fruit soon, I think that's why I've been sending a lot of letters with fruit in because um, I'm pretty sure to get fruit in this game since you can't do online anymore in this game so I can't just get fruit from a friend's town or something. I think the only other way to get fruit is from a villager in a letter so that's why I've been sending a lot of letters to villagers. I'm really hoping to get a different sort of fruit because our whole town is peaches which I don't mind but it would be nice to collect some more fruit as well. Okay so the thing that is making Lyle mad at us about this house is the peach and the mushroom on the table. Um, this ranch couch is really nice, but I don't think it suits our house at the moment, so I might just sell this. I think this sofa's a lot cuter in New Leaf, um, but I remember the ranch couch is usually an item I usually get from the villagers at the start of the game to decorate my house with, but I never usually keep it for that long. So let's collect some fruit to sell, and I think I'm just going to do this for a little while, and hopefully we can make some bells. Okay, we have room for a couple more pieces of fruit. Is he gonna tell me it's a point special every single time I come in here? It's really a shame the character dialogue in this game because the game itself is actually really pretty and um, it is just like Wild World but better and Wild World is my favourite so I do really like this game but just the dialogue in it is just so boring. For example, if I play Wild World all day I don't usually get bored of the character dialogue because in Wild World they say the funniest things, they'll insult you um, they say like really obscure things and I just think the personality in Wild World is amazing and the characters just are so much fun to talk to. But in City Folk I really can only speak to a villager like once or twice and they just say the same thing. Um, it's actually rare that I'll have a fun conversation with the villagers so usually in one of these episodes you'll see that I talk to one of the villagers and we'll have a laugh about whatever it is they're talking about. Oh we got a horse mackerel so we can sell that. Um, yeah, usually I have to cut out a lot of the conversations I have with the villagers because they would just repeat themselves or they'll say something that we've already seen in a previous episode like Oh, here's Freya, so why don't we talk to her and see if she'll let say anything fun. She's so cute. <laughs> hey, have a moment, Lulu. I found a nickname that would really suit you, Ufta. What is it? 
Here it is. Sassy L. <laughs> Sassy L, really? So, don't you think it's perfect for you, Ufta? It's great. I love it, Freya. Well, I'm glad you like it, Ufta. From now on, I'll refer to you as Sassy L. See you later, Sassy L. <laughs> okay, well... From now on, I will call you Sassy L, Ufta. I need to hurry and go tell everyone else about this. Well, I'm sure everyone else will be really impressed with that new nickname. <laughs> That's so funny. But yeah, like I was saying, um, usually the villagers will say the same thing. Like, I think in one of the previous episodes, I was talking to Tom and one of the other characters, and they were talking about what it means to be manly. Um, and it was quite funny. It was quite a funny conversation, but I often see them, same two characters talking. And I'll go up to them to ask what they're talking about and they'll have that exact same conversation over and over again. And it's a shame because watching their conversations is one of the best parts of Animal Crossing and especially in Let's Play videos. Oh, we finally got the key! Okay, so we can go give this back to Tom. But yeah, in Let's Play videos, one of the most entertaining things is seeing what the villagers are talking about and when they just say the same conversation over and over again. Um, it is a shame because I have to just cut out a lot of the gameplay and you'll probably notice the length of um, these videos varies because like in the first episode it was like over an hour long and they slowly sort of depreciated in time and that's because I've just heard the same conversations over and over again. And I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really notice it that much when I was little. Um, I think I was just enjoying the game so much that I didn't even think about what the characters are saying if they say the same thing over and over again. I was just like using my imagination and enjoying the game so much I didn't notice but as an adult it's really obvious and it is a big shame actually. Oh Crazy L, how's the search coming? You find my key yet? Yep I have it. Is this yours? Yes! This is it! This is it! This is definitely the key to my house Meowza. I can hardly wait to open something with my key again. Thanks Crazy L. I don't usually get all weepy when someone does me a good turn, but you really help me out. Here, I've got a little present for you to show my appreciation, Meowza. What? It's a gift, a modern sofa. It's not going to bite you or anything. Take it. It's great to be able to get into my house again, and I owe it all to you, Meowza. Tom is so sweet. I feel like me and Tom have had the most conversations in this Let's Play, like when he rejected me on Valentine's Day. And I think he was one of the first characters I sent a letter to when I was working for Tom Nook as well. Um, so, looks like we have another gyroid. We can sell this because, unfortunately, Brewster doesn't want to keep my gyroids. Um, but one of the things about this game is I think I enjoyed it so much when I was little because I was playing it every single day, almost all day. And that's what you have to do in this game to unlock everything. But because this time around I'm an adult and I don't get a chance to play every single day because I'm working on other videos or... It, and also it's just hard to set up my Wii U. Um, so yeah, if you don't play every single day, you're not going to unlock much stuff. So that's why I haven't unlocked that much so far. But let's see what's in the Able Sisters today. I can't believe how amazing the Able Sisters looks in New Horizons compared to this. Oh my gosh, a melon hat? Let's try this on. That's a melon hat. With matching clothes, this look will scream melon. Beautiful. <laughs> yes. Can I try it on? Oh my gosh, that's so wonderful. I love that so much. That looks absolutely perfect on you. Mabel, you're such a liar. <laughs> like, what is that? That doesn't look good at all. Oh, why don't we see if Sable has anything to say to us? Welcome, Lulu. I'm just as busy as ever, if that's not obvious. Hmm? What? How can I handle working so hard all the time? Well, our survival depends on this job, you know. That's a given, and thinking about it too much won't change things. So I just say, that's life. It's been like this ever since I was a young child. It's all I've ever known. Yes, that's right. I grew up sitting right in front of a sewing machine. The first thing I ever made was a pair of gloves. Hey, maybe... Teehehehehehe. <laughs> How long ago did that happen again? It was a very cold winter, and Mabel's claws got a nasty case of frostbite. I couldn't bear to see her suffer, so I made her some miniature gloves. That's so cute! I put Mabel's little claws on top of the cloth like this to make a pattern, but it was my first time, so the gloves that I made were terribly misshapen. Right, they were huge, but they were so warm. Thanks again for making those for me, sis. Oh no, it was nothing. Do you remember what you did with those gloves? You didn't wear them on your claws, you put them on your ears, remember? I think you thought they were earmuffs. Hehehe. 
Not that story again. I was so little back then, I don't really remember what happened. But I probably thought my ears were going to turn into icicles or something. Okay sis, enough already. That's so cute. I love these two so much. They just have the sweetest story, and that is one thing that's really good in this game, is that it includes the characters' backstories. Lulu, thank you so much for always coming by our shop, it's so sweet. I suppose I should thank you too, so thank you. <laughs> they're so lovely, I just, I honestly feel like they're my best friends, and they're so friendly in this game. I'm so happy to hear their little stories like that. Felu feels so bright and happy now of the grass, I'm just so happy about it. Let me know if you like springtime or not, because I've just been so excited for it. Um, the UK's been so dark and sad for months now, and I think it's finally going to start being sunny, which I'm so happy about. I can finally go outside and see the flowers. Oh, we have a pearl oyster. I think that's worth more money than the normal shell, so I'll have to check that out and see how much money we get for it. Um, but I actually want to try to find the money rock again, because um, I haven't done that in a while, and like I said, I do need to save up some money. <laughs> oh, a pill bug! I don't think we've caught one of those yet. Okay, quick, 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 we need to catch it. Oh, I forgot I can't close the hole with my foot. Quick, quick, before it gets away. Yay, I caught a pill bug. Why don't you chill, bug? <laughs> what, that wasn't even a joke. Well, we can go donate that to the museum. I guess let's keep looking around on the other rocks. Oh, here's another one. I really like that feature they added in New Leaf with the rocks that would explode and there'd be, um, uh, what they call like, ore inside them. I really love the ore in New Leaf and I love placing the ore around my town and I really hope that feature is in- <gasps> Ew! Is that centipede? Ew! What is that? Ew, I hate that! Ew! 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 DISGUSTING! I caught a centipede. It's got a million legs. Or, you know, a hundred. Oh my gosh, that's so creepy. Ew, that's like probably one of the scariest bugs in the game other than tarantula and scorpion. Oh, I really didn't like that. I guess it's centipede season in the game. But at least we can donate it to brothers, I guess. But yeah, like I was saying, I really hope that those um, pieces of ore and the ore rocks will make a return in New Horizons. I think they will. I think we might have seen um, footage of it at PAX East, but I could be making that up. I know that... Oh my gosh, another centipede? No! No! Get it away! Get it away! Ew! Oh, I hate it so much. Let me know what's your favourite bug in this game. Um, I think I really like the common butterfly. Um, I really like the leaf bug. Because I remember the first time I caught a leaf bug, I was so shocked by it because... I thought that it was just a piece of furniture on the floor and I had my net out and I just hit it because I was bored and then I caught a bug and I was just so shocked by it and I think it's really cool that it disguises itself as like a leaf that's like a piece of furniture in the game I just really like that about it I'm not sure if it's my favourite though Pond smelt are a popular catch during winter ice fishing season It's a simple sport really, you open a hole in the ice, drop your line in and then wait for a nibbly nibbly <laughs> Not that I've tried, I find cold weather rather unappealing, so ice fishing is hardly a possibility. I didn't know that about Blathers, that he hates the cold. So next, I have the pill bug. Indeed, when they're all rolled up in a ball, pill bugs seem harmless enough. But flip them over and- OH THOSE LEGS! <laughs> He's so dramatic. Absolutely repugnant. Thinking about how they wriggle and squirm has my feathers crawling. Oh, blathers. If he didn't like the pill bug, how is he going to react to the centipede? Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Foulness, hold a moment. I do rather poorly with shiny, wriggly, wretched creatures like this one. Indeed, centipedes are quite fast to boot, what? If the beast attacks us, how will we flee to safety? I can't imagine a centipede attacking you. Moreover, they have hard shells, so we can't stop it with a furious stomping. We're doomed. Wait, do centipedes actually attack people? I didn't know that. Ew. Ew. Now I'm even more scared of them. Okay, so let's try this rock here, because I don't think we've tried this one yet. Nope. Oh, we're not very lucky today, are we? <laughs> well, let's collect some more fruit, and I can sell these for money instead. Oh, I've run out of room. Let's just leave that here then. And I'll go sell all this stuff. I love how all the mushrooms are still out, even though it's springtime. Hey Sassiel, looking good! I love February 29th, it's a day that happens every four years, yet it's not really a holiday. 
Maybe we should make this a special day named after me. Hmm. But it, it is a special day, it's called Leap Day. Why would we name it Freya Day? <laughs> I mean, I guess we can. Oh, afternoon. Where do you get all that energy from, pal? You look raring to go, Meowza. Hey, did you notice we've had 29 days and it's still February? That's because it's a leap year. As I recall, that only happens once every four years. Something about how the sun moves? Whatever, I'm no almanac. If you want to know more, go check an Encopedia, Meowza. <laughs> I mean, I didn't come to you asking to hear about it. You're the one that started talking about it. Oh, Goldie Tear, she's so cute. Oh, hey there. Say, Lulu. I just noticed lately how much I've been saying woof. I mean, I say it a lot, woof. And I wanted to know, do you think it's strange? It's not like I can help myself, woof. I'm worried that other people might think it's weird. Maybe I should try to change. You're right, it is time for a change. Okay. <laughs> Since you have such a problem with saying woof, and you say it too often, let's change your catchphrase to woof woof. Now you'll be saying it double the amount. That's wonderful. <laughs> woof woof? Did I get that right? Yep. Let's see. Woof woof. Oh, I like the sound of that. I hope you don't mind if I use it. <laughs> I mean, that's what you asked for. Whenever I talk, I'm gonna drop an old woof woof bomb on you, woof woof. I mean, I think it suits you fine. I don't know why she's worried about saying woof too often. She is a dog. I feel like a new person, woof woof. All it takes is a little change to shift your outlook on life. I mean, I guess so. Oh, no. <gasps> Boone? No, I hate Boone. I hate Boone. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Look at him. Hello, motherfucker. Look at him. He just ends up in every single one of my towns, and I hate him. Hey, so you're from Faloon, right? Right on, good to meet you. This is my first day living here. They call me Boone. I know what they call you. I don't like you. And you are Lulu, right? Yep, you've got Faloon written all over you. I hadn't planned on cleaning this place right away, but now I think I'll get busy, baboon. No! Whoa, 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 hold up. My place isn't ready for guests yet. Clear out, will you? Gladly. I don't want to be around you. I hate Boone, he's so ugly. So if you're wondering why I hate Boone so much, I actually had no feelings towards Boone, um, but Boone did move into my new leaf town and I think their house was somewhere annoying. And I'm pretty sure they moved on top of like my pink flowers or something. And I was really mad about that. And then they just never would move away. They just would not move away. And this happened again with Rocket. And I just have bad experiences with the gorilla villagers. They just like will not move away. And if you didn't know, gorilla is actually my least favorite animal um <laughs> not that i don't think many people have least favorite animals because you can't really hate animals but i just really really dislike gorillas i just don't like them and yeah the only gorilla i like is that one from the new horizons direct which was absolutely hilarious i was laughing at that for like the entire day after i saw it well hey if it isn't my pal lady l <laughs> why is he laughing a day without something going on in Thaloon is kind of like a superhero without a cape. I mean, sure it's okay, but just like everyone loves a flashy cape, everyone also loves to party. Yeah, maybe I should have played when there was an event going on, because I think all my past episodes have been events like fishing tourney, uh, Valentine's Day, um, wait, actually I can't think of any others. <laughs> but yeah, maybe I should have played on, um, festival but i didn't even know festival was going on for some reason i thought festival was in summer i'm really sad that we missed that because i love parve so let me know if you want me to go back and see parve because i'll happily travel back in time and do that for the next episode but i don't think we have actually that many episodes of this let's play left because it's so close to new horizons now yeah we've only got a couple of weeks not even that and well actually yeah it is two weeks but it's just going so quickly now and i'm really excited for it what? Lulu? I know I haven't seen you in a while, but what in the world happened to your hair? <laughs> I mean, what happened to yours? You can't say much. Your hair's horrible. Have you been sleeping all this time? How many weeks has it been? Like two? I mean, you haven't, have you? Well, I guess it really doesn't matter because at least you seem well, Mango. Oh, she's nice. I'm sorry for what I said about your hair. <laughs> Whenever you have some time, we should catch up on all the latest gossip, Mango. But why did you say Mango? That's Rowan's catchphrase. I'm honestly actually a bit disappointed in this town because I don't have any villagers that I absolutely love. I mean, I have Goldie and she's so cute, and Blue Bear, 
and we have Tom, who I get along with. Um, but I was really hoping for a villager that I actually had a connection with, because there is a lot that I have connections with, like Barbara, Min, Fang, Ruby, Drift. Oh my gosh! Quick, quick, quick! Wait, I want to try catch it because I've never caught bees before. I'm not fucking going. She fucking did. No. <laughs> I definitely caught that, right? Like, how did I not get that? DISGUSTING! Oh, no. We're so ugly now. Well, at least I carry that um, post-op patch around with me so we can cover up the eye now, because the eye just grosses me out. So there we go, that's covered now. Um, but yeah, fun fact, I've never ever caught bees in any Animal Crossing game. I've never been able to catch them. Not in New Leaf, not in City Folk. Um, I'm not sure if you could in Wild World, but I definitely didn't in that game. Yeah, I've just never ever been able to catch bees and I tried so hard in New Leaf, but I never could. Well, what's this we got from the tree? A regal table? <gasps> That's awesome. I really like the regal furniture. That'll look really nice in our house. So yeah, I think you can get bees multiple times in a day. Um, I'm pretty sure you can in New Leaf, but I'm not sure if you can in this game. I'm going to shake the trees a little more um, and see if we can try catch it because I'm pretty sure I've never ever caught bees and I really really want to because I've just never been able to do it. I mean I might have in my childhood town because I used to play it all day every day and I'm pretty sure I must have just kept trying to do it and I remember watching a tutorial on how to catch bees in Animal Crossing when I was younger, so I know I've definitely tried it, I just can't remember whether I actually have managed to catch them before. Let me know if you've managed to catch bees in the game because I think that's something not many people actually are able to do. I know like a lot of like, especially the content creators, um, Animal Crossing content creators that play Animal Crossing, obviously, um, I know a lot of them actually completely fill their encyclopedias up and I hardly ever do that either. I play like when I get a new Animal Crossing game, I play all day, every single day, like, I'll just leave the game on. Even if there's nothing else to do in the day, I'll just sit there enjoying, um, the peacefulness of the town. But, <laughs> even though I play all day, every day, I've never 100 percented the fish encyclopedia and the fossil encyclopedia and the bug encyclopedia. I'm pretty sure I completed the fish one in Wild World. Uh, the dinosaur one I've completed in New Leaf, I think. And I think I might have completed that in Wild World as well. But I don't think I completed the bug encyclopedia in either of the games. I think it's the bugs I struggle with. Um, because it's not often I go around catching, uh, bugs. If I see one I haven't caught, I will catch it. But I, I always go through stages of not playing the game for a couple of weeks or I miss like there's like certain weeks where a bug will be available. Boy, that's some mug you're sporting, sport. Here's a hint for the future. Try not to run directly into the swarm of angry bees, Meowza. <laughs> He's so smug, always telling me what to do. We got another piece of furniture? What do we get this time? A telescope, that's cool as well. I might put that in my house too. We're getting a lot of money doing this though, actually. But yeah, I can't remember what I was talking about now. Oh, catching bugs. Yeah, so, yeah. I just, like, there's always, like, a certain time period where a bug or fish is only available during, like, one week in winter. And I'll always just not play that week. Or when I'm playing that week, I don't fish or catch bugs. So, in the games, I always miss out on a certain bug. And I'm like, oh, I'll catch it next year. And I never do. So, um, yeah. I've never 100% completed my Incopedia, but... I have a feeling I'm going to try really hard to do that on New Horizons since I'm going to be playing New Horizons with you all. Um, which yes, I've received quite a few comments and DMs recently, people asking me if I'm going to be playing New Horizons on the channel. Of course I'm going to be playing it. Um, I play City Folk on the channel, Pocket Camp, I would play New Leaf if I had a capture card. And I play all the Animal Crossing games and this channel is mainly a Let's Play channel. A lot of new subscribers have joined from my direct videos and my news type videos, but they're not really my favourite videos. It's definitely not my favourite style. I much prefer putting a let's play on of someone playing a game for like an hour or more. Um, so that's the type of videos I want to make. Lulu! Oh Lulu, I made so many wishes on so many stars that I could see you again. Oh my gosh, she's so cute! I won't force you to tell me what you've been up to for the past, oh, how many months was it? Three? I haven't spoken to Vesta in three months? What? And the way you just came up and started talking like no time had passed. Well, it's nice to know you think our friendship is timeless, Bartho. Oh my gosh, she's so sweet. If my friend didn't speak to me for months, and then did, 
I'd be so mad. You know what's weird? The last day I saw you, I ate a chow mein, and I didn't see you again. Oh, chow mein, good choice. And then this morning, guess what I ate, Barfo? It's like my breakfast was trying to tell me something. I know, crazy, right? <laughs> I really want chow mein now. Thank you, Vesta, for that. I'm so hungry for chow mein. I really want some. I think Vesta might be one of my favourite characters in this town now because she's so sweet. And that was just the cutest conversation. She's so wholesome. <gasps> I caught a boot. I hope someone lost this and didn't toss it in here. <laughs> Why is my character so angry about that? I guess my character really cares about the environment. <laughs> I remember, I think in Wild World, there was um, like tires that would wash up in the town. I'm pretty sure they belong to Gracie's car. Gah, yeah, uh, are you okay? You should really put some medicine on that and make it better, Woof Woof. Well, Goldie's so sweet. But yeah, I remember in Wild World, because Gracie used to drive a car and you used to have to clean it in the GameCube game. Um, but it just used to sit there in Wild World and you, whenever you fished up a tyre, I'm pretty sure it says something about Gracie, but I can't remember. I might have just made that up because in my head I was like, yeah, this definitely belongs to Gracie, but I wonder who the boots belong to. No one in the village wears boots. Tortima doesn't, Rover doesn't, Tomnook doesn't. But you know who does wear shoes now? Isabel. It was Isabel all along, guys. The only character I know that wears shoes is Isabel. So it has to be her. And you you all think Isabel's so sweet. She's dumping her shoes in the river. We don't stand a girl who doesn't care for the environment. Oh, and also, Isabel asks you to take a shell from the beach for her. Did you know that's illegal now? I'm calling the police! Well, in my area at least, because I live by a lot of beaches. They've actually made it illegal to take stones or shells off the beach. Can you believe that? You can get fined if you take a shell from the beach. I'm so shocked about this because don't arrest me, but everyone takes shells and stones off the beach. That's what you do. And I remember last time I went to the beach, I was I was like picking up shells and stuff and I saw a sign that was like, don't take stones from the beach home and stuff like that. And I was like, what? Really? I can get fined for taking a rock home? What? So just so you know, Isabel not only dumps her shoes in the river, before she's even come to this town by the way, her shoes are washing up in the river, and also she breaks the law, and also she beats people up in Smash, so really she's not that good. And Tomnook is a much more wholesome man, so stop hating on Tomnook because I'm tired of it, and he's my favourite, so I stand Tomnook. I'm obviously kidding though, um, I wonder who the boots belong to, it must belong to a human, right? Because... There really is no characters that wear boots, and Isabel didn't even exist in these games, so I really want to know who the boots belong to. Okay, so I think this regal table looks a lot better than the lovely one. And <laughs> this gyroid. <laughs> Listen to him. Oh, I didn't mean to pick him up. One sec. Let me put him back down. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> I love the gyroid so much. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so since we've made quite a bit of money today, let's pay off some of our mortgage so we can get closer to getting a bigger house. Um, we still have 100,000 to pay off. Let's pay off 10,000 today, even though it's just a little bit. Um, I think it's worth it to pay it off. Oh, actually, I want to tell Pelly that I have a problem with one of the villagers. Goodness, who in town are you having a problem with? Well, I could choose Rowan just to bully him like we usually do, but I really don't want um, Boone in my town. I just don't want Boone. So Boone is just, he's just, you know, he's the worst. What seems to be the problem with Boone? Rude, slobby, or weird letters? Uh, he's rude. He's just so rude. I see, so Boone has been a bit rude then. Would you like me to have a word with him? Please do. Alright, I'll make sure to talk to Boone about how he speaks to others. Good. Tell him to move out. I don't want him here. But that's all for today, Pelly. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, Sassiel, what's going on with your face? Oh, as if I need to ask, you got stung by a bee. Yes, a bee, Ufda. I see so many people get the bee makeover that it doesn't even faze me anymore, Ufda. Okay, well why did you even say it then? What a pointless conversation. 
Well, I think I'm going to leave it here for today, guys. I'm sorry we didn't actually get up to much in this episode, um, but I have been playing for way over an hour now. And yeah, I think it's a good time to end it. So let me know if you'd like to see me go back in time to celebrate festival with you. If not, I'll just keep playing as I am. And let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please do leave a like and subscribe only if you want to though. And thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you on my next video. Bye!